as far as the the style. I grew up on like Disney films, Saturday morning cartoons, and I always liked the traditional 2D hand-drawn animated styles. My entire life I always hated when they would combine 2D characters on a CGI background. I really enjoy seeing things Penny Arcade where, you know, the whole thing is just it's reminiscent of that whole 2D style. I've, I've had trouble doing like inks and things like that because the, the way I draw I've always been very sketchy with the way I do it. And so then I started looking up some web comics and things like that and I discovered this whole idea of using Photoshop as the final, you know, as, as the actual final output instead of using actual inks or markers or brushes or, you know, all those traditional media. I started getting into trying to use Photoshop and trying to cartoon that way. I have a lot more leeway to screw up, I guess. Especially when I'm sketching something out, whether it's, you know, doing it in Photoshop like I did in this, or whether it's, you know, pencil and paper, I erase a lot of things. I'm constantly going back and changing things and making new lines and erasing old lines. When it came to uh, the final line work on something, I wouldn't be able to do that if I were using markers or something. If I screw up, it's like it's stuck there. But with Photoshop, I just hit three buttons and it goes back a step. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I've gotten really used to it. It's funny watching the video now because it looks like I do it so much. I almost feel ashamed. I just start doing um, pencil and paper, sketching it out, doing little thumbnails or something to get the basic layout down. I used to uh, I used to do the all the sketch work on pencil and paper, and then I'd actually just scan that in and then use that and do the line work over that. I'm trying to train myself to get to the point where I can just, like I did in this, the whole thing from scratch right in Photoshop in the same file. After I get the the sketch work down, I make a whole new layer to do the line work. For the, I just take the normal Photoshop brush, round tip brush with maximum hardness, and set it to straight black, and then I just go in and, and make the line work like you see in the video. For the coloring, I use the wand tool actually to go in on the line layer and select, you know, the different open areas that I that I want to make all the same color. Expand the selected area. So I actually go in and do that, and that bumps it out a few pixels, which takes it, puts the uh, the selection behind the black line. So that way when I go to the color layer and fill it in, it's it completely and totally takes up that area and the black line winds up overlapping where the color ends so it, you know, it looks like it's all filled in. And that obviously, it isn't perfect so I have to go in and touch some things up by hand. I use uh, the Wacom bamboo uh, graphics tablet you can you can do pretty much anything with it so the actual pads themselves when you're using it with the pen you can feel there's like a slight texture to it you know so it actually it actually all feels really natural they're pressure sensitive which is how i get the uh, different weighted lines the bamboo doesn't do this but some of the more advanced models i don't know if it's gyroscopes or whatever but they can sense the tilt of the pen happy trees